In this episode of Arc Building Evolved, we get together and build another Roman style building right next to our Equus Fort. This is the small Roman house and the first of hopefully many builds in this style right here guys. Sit back and enjoy. What is going on geeks? UTC here. Welcome back to Arc Building Evolved. This is our creative building series and uh, I have been having a ton of fun with this. Um, last episode, last two episodes, we got started building a Roman Equus uh, stables, almost like a cavalry fort. And um, the reaction was pretty good. You guys really seemed to dig it. And I've been wanting to start a bigger project for a while. And here's the stables coming up here. And I, I really want to expand. I want to have a bunch of these Roman style buildings in close proximity. But the thing is, we role-played this series through the first nine episodes. We were a mountain man. We kind of lived uh, out there on that rock. We farmed uh, Megaloceros and we farmed the Ovis, which you see a couple have gotten loose. We've got our sheep pen up here. And I went and built this here. And now I'm wondering, because this is one of the biggest, flattest areas I have uh, to build with. And I think we could build something really substantial here. but. It's so close to our mountain man, it kind of ruins the feel. I, I felt so isolated and alone out there. Um, and we've got our sheep pen over here too. So I'm not sure what to do. If we are gonna start something that resembles a town or a village, uh, I wanna do it close enough to where we've done all our previous buildings so we're uh, an Equus ride away. But the Roman cavalry fort in my head was just gonna be an outpost. And if we were gonna build more, it would be further away, but I've looked around and I can't find anything as flat and as perfect for building as this area. So um, today, guys, uh, this is not the usual day for a building episode or for a building evolved episode. Um, I wanted to get you guys an extra one. So what we're gonna do is, is build something small and I'm gonna build it in close proximity to actually probably off the same foundations as our fort here. And instead of making this an outpost, we might make this the entrance to our village or our town. I got big plans and I, uh, I think eventually we might expand to cover this entire beautiful flat area. I'm excited to do that. Um, and I think um, before we get started today, I wanna give myself a little bit of pre-work. I wanna try laying out some foundations and see what kind of space we have here. If the foundations I laid for the fort are gonna be good enough, uh, to make it all the way across here. This looks completely flat, so I feel like we should be able to. Um, but let me get started on a little bit of work. You guys probably saw in the intro to the video what I end up building today, but for me, I really have no idea what we're gonna end up building today. So let me go get myself started and I will be right back, geeks. So I've been doing a little work. I just wanted to see how far we could extend these foundations if we were gonna run into the ground at some point. And uh, in this series, we do our best, I do my best, to build with the vanilla pe building pieces whenever possible. As much fun as structures. Plus is, I know a lot of you guys are on console. You don't have access to this stuff. So I'm trying to keep it legit. Now I will show you, basically what I did was I came along here and I would place um, a uh, Adobe foundation. And then I get to spots like this where you can't sneak a foundation in. And in those cases, I went with the structures plus stuff because they will clip right into the wall and they'll stack too, obviously get you out of there. Um, so yeah, where I couldn't squeeze a foundation, I've gone ahead and done this just because I think it's gonna look better. Uh, I know some of you guys will not have this option, but for those that do, try that. And you can keep it vanilla. So I think what my game plan is, uh, is to keep, uh, for a lot of the buildings we do here, if we continue to build, to keep a lot of the foundations as stone for the interior of the house. So if we were building a house here, I think what I'm going to do is keep the paths in between the houses. And in Roman style, it's always a small, narrow path between a house uh, or between buildings in general. So I think what we do is that um, and use these stone foundations as our shape. And uh, um, I think I don't know what's going to go here. Something big is going to go here. Um, but just to get started, I want to do a small, simple Roman house. And um, I think to get that started, my game plan is to include a garden in the middle of it. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build up and we're gonna leave a spot in the middle with no foundations. Uh, it's gonna look a little bit like this. And I haven't decided exactly how big to make it. So we're gonna play around with uh, some ideas here and see if we can shape this up. Now I have ground clutter on max because I like it that way. I think it looks best. Um, so I think what we're gonna wanna do, we're gonna want at least 
a depth of two all the way around. So why don't I go ahead and take these pieces out? I'm gonna try and um, build out a foundation with uh, two wide uh, stone foundations around the outside. And we're gonna leave a shape of some sort in the middle. I just haven't figured out what it's gonna be yet. So I will be back. The constant rain here gets a little old, I have to admit, and um, I'm trying to decide how this is going to work. Honestly, the ground clutter feels like a bit too much, but we're going to have to work with what we've got. I ended up putting these foundations fairly low, and um, I don't want to change it. I want this whole area to be on a plane for you to be able to cruise down these foundations uh, like a plaza in a Roman city. So. I had originally intended to come out to here with the stone, but then I'm realizing how close we're getting to the wall. So I wanted to have a, a clear path behind it. So here's what I've done, guys. We've got, I guess this is one, two, three, four, five, six across. So two in the middle. Um, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I've left this middle um, empty right here. And this is going to be the shape of our garden. So uh, for the next step, I think what I need to do is get myself started with some stone and adobe walls. Um, I think we're going to do a row of stone across the bottom and adobe above that. And uh, I'm definitely going to need some stone pillars. They're going to frame in uh, this atrium here in the middle where uh, this guard, I guess the atrium, it wouldn't be the atrium. It would be uh, the gardens. There's a Roman word for it. Plu uh, nope, I don't know it. We're good. Um, let me go grab some more of the building pieces I need, and I'm going to come back to you. We're going to start laying out a shape for this Roman house. All right, guys, we got a tiny bit of daylight that we get out here uh, in this area. We are uh, at like 2575. Is that right on the map? Uh, something like that. Sorry. Eight, what is it? 8525. And we're right under the big redwood bridge. People always ask where this location is. It's my favorite spot on the center map, and I love building here. Um, so I'm just planning out an entrance for this place. And I think what we're going to end up doing is around the inside of the building, uh, or sorry, around the lowest level of the building, I want to build it in stone. And um, a lot of Roman buildings will have this, sort of a two-tone thing. And in this version, we captured it with paint. Here, I want to use two different building materials. And I think it's probably going to work out in our favor. Um, so I'm going to circle this thing in uh, stone. And I want you guys to hang out with me for a minute. I can do my um, patron shout-out. And I'm going to start doubling you guys up. Uh, so two of my patrons from last month, from the, the month of March, um, Brent, uh, who is Irish Envy, and Brock, who never ended up playing on the Patreon server, but uh, supported me for that month. Just wanted to give you guys a shout out. Um, we're sneaking up to 50 patrons, and I'm hoping at some point we can uh, increase that, keep it growing. And we have an awesome little community going on the server. I'm so excited. I'm going to spend a big chunk of my week coming up playing with those guys on that server and getting myself a base setup. The great monkey puzzle has decided to come and hang out uh, on uh, the Patreon server that Arali the Geek and I run uh, and do a modded series from our server. The whole thing is exciting. I'm loving it. Um, and as much fun as I have building here, I do need to get to some survival building. This is creative. I spawn in the materials. It lets me bring my ideas to life really quickly and easily without a whole lot of prep and stress, but um, I do need to get back to building and survival. So I think I like that. I wonder if we do another door frame right there? I think so. All right, so let's go ahead and put that in. And this is the beginning of our shape. So I think what we're going to do, geeks, is take another couple stone door frames, and we're going to frame in this little entrance way here. And above that, I think I'm probably going to be safe to do uh, adobe walls. That is going to be the next layer of this build. And then let's do a little slope on the side of this, and we'll, we'll put in the beginning of our sloped roofs, and we'll get our entrance started. We're going to do that. And let's see. No, that is not going to work. Okay, what about wood? Will wood make it better? Because I we could try a different building material for this section. All right, guys, so let's try that. Does that make a difference? It does. Okay, so maybe we'll do that. I think having a second material here on this little vestibule that is going to be the entrance to the place is going to work for us. Um, so what I want to do now is go around and do another uh, probably two rows 
but for now I'll just do one and then we're gonna head to the inside and put some pillars up. If I haven't yet guys, I'm gonna take a break. Uh, if you are enjoying this episode, remember to click the like button and if this series helps you out, if you used to build crappy little boxes and now you live in a cool, beautiful house because of some of the building videos I've done, remember to share this around. Um, every video I post of Building Evolved gets more views and it's growing and growing and that has me so excited because I love this series and a big part of it is you guys sharing it. So I'm gonna take a break and I will be right back. Thank you. Alright Geeks, this is how we're looking and I'm starting to dig it. I'm starting to like this uh, house design so far. So let's poke our heads in here and you're going to see this is going to be our garden. Um, and it's going to be the center point of this place. Now before we get a whole lot further, I actually want to try implementing a fireplace. Roman um, houses traditionally in this big entrance room would have a bed and it would be like a ceremonial bed I think dating back to you know olden times when this was the one and only room of the house and for us it will be the one and only room of the house um, but they also had a hearth a hearth is a traditional uh, spot where they would cook meals prepare food and uh and stay warm. So I want to try incorporating that. We're going to see how it looks once we've added some uh, layers and, and height to this. Um, but what I'm going to do for now, guys, is come in with some fence foundations. And I'm going to put them on weird angles like that instead of lining them right along the edge here where they might end up giving us trouble if we decide to do uh, railings along there. And then we're going to put pillars on the corners. And I think we're going to have to go at least too high. And um, different Roman houses, different styles, uh, of atriums would have a different pillar layout. Some would have no pillars at all, and others would have pillars just on the corners. Some would have them at every intersection, so you would have another one here. And um, it's really gonna be up to us how we do it. So I'm gonna try playing around with a couple ideas. I don't know what's gonna look best, um, and, and I'll give you an idea as to where we're gonna go from here after this. Uh, Roman houses almost always had an opening in the roof, and that is going to be directly over this little garden. Um, and uh, for this opening, uh, we're going to have sloped roofs that come down from the sides. So we're going to, whoops, we're going to have to play around with how that's going to work for us. So let's get you in place and you in place. Okay. So this is the beginning. I think how many how many foundations do we have here? Um, got one, two three, four, five, and six. So if I'm gonna do more pillars, I need to do two. So let's try that. And it would be right here, I think. Something like that. And let's go do this on the other side. Okay, I think this is gonna work for us. Now, where we have our entrance here, I don't want a pillar. And I think I wanna take those out. And I think actually we're gonna take these out too now that I look at it. I don't like that. I don't need it. I don't want it. I want a clear view of my fireplace. So, now we gotta start figuring out how this roof is gonna work. So, uh, if we have a roof, it is going to need to come down to here, which means we're going to need to go one higher with our sloped walls, or with our walls. So I think I am going to do that. So I'm going to go around with uh, adobe walls like this. I'm going to see if there's a couple good spots, maybe uh, up here on either side of the chimney for a couple of window frames, just to let in a little bit of light. Traditionally, I mentioned this last time, Roman houses don't get light from the outside. They're going to get it from above right here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a whole row of walls around the top of this and then we'll come back together and we'll start laying in uh, the roof for this place. All right guys, so it's time to get to work for us on a roof. And I think for us to get started there, I'm gonna need to be a little bit higher up. And I'm gonna give you guys just a really quick concept of what I have in mind. I think if all goes as planned, we are gonna be able to, let's see if it's gonna play along. I don't think it will, but yeah. So if all goes as planned, we're gonna to wanna to do something like this. Uh, no, yeah, something like, come on, 
like that, okay? And we're gonna wrap this all the way around the outside of the house so that we have these sloped roofs coming to the inside. Now, the way that that's gonna work, uh, it means that we're gonna have intersecting roofs throughout here. So what I wanna do before um, we get these sloped ones in place that are gonna mess up our day, I wanna go ahead and do a whole row uh, a whole level of stone ceilings and this is going to make the edges of this place a little darker um, but it's actually going to make it more of a focus with all the light coming down from above so i want to get these in place we may end up adding a hatch frame just for a little access to this upper area um, and if you're building it in your your uh your world this upper area is certainly useful it's something that you guys are going to be able to take advantage of um, uh, it'll just be a little bit cramped. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and close this whole area off. I'll get up top and we'll start laying in um, sloped adobe and we'll see how that looks. All right, so this is what we've got up here, guys, and I think it's working for us. Our chimney barely comes up to the roof of this, and I think that's perfect. It's not going to be obvious from the outside. I definitely didn't want it to be. And you know what? We may have to come back and put the fireplace in after. So let's try that. Let's try getting these in place. And I think these should snap to it. Am I gonna need? Okay, so I'm gonna need to go ahead and start from one of the walls if we're not gonna use a sloped uh, wall to get there. So let's, okay, let's rotate this until boom. And the next one is gonna come in on an angle. So it'll be something like that. Um, but we wanna go ahead and get these in first. And actually, I think we have to start on this side. You end up with weird, it wanting to snap in weird locations. I mean, you could solve the whole thing if you just put a little slope right there. Uh, then you'll have something to snap to. But uh, I don't want to bother with that. So I want to go ahead and do this. And we'll work our way across. All right. Before we get too far, I'm just going to poke my head under here. And yep, everything connects. I just want to make sure I go all the way over to the wall. Because eventually, I'm going to have to break that and if i hadn't then a few of these would come along and break with it because they wouldn't have the support um so uh i think guys this build is on the home stretch now you guys let me know i talked at the beginning of the episode about expanding this and potentially building a town or a city um, i've been given a whole bunch of cool ideas by you guys already someone asked for uh watchtowers and somebody asked for a video with the thyla that giant wall climbing cat and i think i could combine those two ideas and um when it comes to the dinos that we're going to use here i try and stick to a theme so when we were out on the ranch it was elk and bears and i like the pelagornis because we're right here by these waterfalls um the ovis when it comes to animals that remind me of ancient rome the equus was the first one um, but Roman uh, units, Roman sort of military units, um, in my memory, go back to being named after uh, wolves, snakes, uh, which I don't know how we'd incorporate that. Um, but wolves, snakes, uh, eagles, for sure, which would be the Argentavis. I know they are not based off an eagle. They're closer to a vulture, but they look eagle-ish. Um, and lions are traditionally an animal I associate with Rome, and the thyla is the closest Thing to that even though yes i get it it's a marsupial and not a cat at all but um i i have ideas for what we could do uh, builds we could use to incorporate uh, an, you know what rhinos would be great um in the history of the roman empire they got a lot of animals from africa and uh let's go ahead and get that in and we want to snap one below it too like that and i hope we don't have to do this all the way along you know what maybe if i come down here it'll be easier Nope. Okay, so I'm going to have to do this. Uh, this game is weird sometimes. Let's try it at the bottom, and then maybe we'll have... Nope. Still a pain in the butt. Okay. Do your thing. Um, but yeah, if you guys have ideas, if you are digging this, if you like this style, and I know um, we're just getting into it right here. Oh, come on. Stupid. This game drives me nuts sometimes. Boom. All right, so let's go just do this bottom row. Let's bang it out. And I think what's going to happen is we're going to have to take out the ones we're standing on. Um, I always end up having to place the left side first um, before the right. So this isn't going to work. Okay, so let's take out you, you, and you. So when you're intersecting roofs, guys, if you're running into that issue where they, they're uh, getting collision and it says can't place obstructed, that's what you got to do. Take out the, the one side and place the other. I need more sloped roofs. Holy crap. All right, so home stretch of the roof. Let's go ahead and get this in and this, and we should have one more to place right down there. Boom, 
So this is it. This is what I had in mind from the get-go. Um, so this place still needs some details. Uh, we're not done. I'm not sure about a paint job. I kind of like how it looks from the outside. Um, I like this. Now, I don't know about those little... The more I look at it, I don't love these little wooden roofs. I don't. So let's try... Here's, here's plan B. We're going to go do that. And then instead of having our doors here, we're going to put our doors on the side. So let's do that. All right, so let's put one there. Do we need one on the other side? I don't know if we do. I don't know if we do at all. Do we have, um... How about this? All right, guys, so I'm gonna do a little window frame there, and then I think what we wanna do is maybe come in with some wooden windows. So uh, I do want little hints of wood throughout this build, and I went and got wooden doors. I think those are gonna work for us. Um, this place has a lot more wood, uh, just little highlights of it throughout, and that's obviously a bigger, more elaborate building, and clearly I have another one in mind to fill this space as we continue to play with this style, but, um, uh, for this first house, I kind of I kind of want to keep it simple. Um, so let's go ahead and torch it up, shed a little light on the situation, in the words of B00, and we'll stick our heads inside here. So I need torches, and um, one thing I want to do is play around with the idea of ramps um, and see how these look. And I think I'm going to like this. So uh, this might be tricky and one that I want to do off camera because there's like nine snap points. And unless I find the right one, it's not going to play along. Okay, we're, we're on a roll now. That works. Uh, and we have to go ahead and put that fireplace back in. And then I'm going to go ahead and craft a bunch of uh, torches. Now, like I said, we build in vanilla wherever possible. One exception I always make is the torches. So I'm going to use Structures Plus torches because they do not need fuel. And they have timers and come on automatically. So if you're playing on console, sorry, you're going to have to refuel your own dang torches. But I'm going to use the better version just for simplicity and so that I'm not constantly running around here refueling these bad boys. Um, so I think I like this. Um, the next question in my mind was, are we going to want um, railings of any kind to surround this little area? All right, and two more, right? One and two. Okay, I think this is going to work. And you guys can see the idea here. So um, when it comes to torches, I'm going to end up putting them on the inside here. Um, one thing you could certainly do uh, is, and I've, I've thought about this, but it would severely limit our space on the inside. One thing you could definitely do is this, and uh, this is going to give you a bit of a different look. So if you were to come in and do that, um, actually, I, I think I might dig that, guys. And we'll create a little hollow space in the wall, and we'll make the inside of this a little narrower. I think I might like that. Um, I like the way that looks. All right, let me go get started. I'm going to go um, uh, work on some torches. We're going to slam dunk a fireplace in here. So i got to go get myself a fireplace. And then I suppose we should play around with the idea of railings. I know I went and put all the ramps in, but you guys let me know. Do you think, think this is going to be good? I say we leave it. I'm going to get rid of this and this. All right, so let me go do this interior wall um, trick. Uh, I'm going to go put a fireplace in. I'm going to make some torches, and I'm going to bring you guys back. All right, guys, so now I've come to the idea, the question for myself of what do I do with this little area? So both of these walls are actually um, hidden from the outside. So I think I can go ahead and make this entrance a little more welcoming simply by, like, flipping these walls, and then I can have a little more space here at the entrance. So let's try this, and we'll see how it looks. So let's flip those. For me, I think the default is E. If you're on uh, Xbox, I think it's Y on PlayStation Triangle, something to that effect, because um, people are always asking how you flip stuff, and there's other ways to do it. Actually, the easiest thing to do would have been to stand here, look at my feet, and snap to this foundation instead of putting it on this foundation and flipping it. So there's many, many ways to do that. Um, and now all I have to do is come through here, guys, and snap these in place. Um, we're going to be creating a little bit of hidden space for ourselves, and we're going to give ourselves a nice, clean look on the interior of this house. Um, and I could actually find a way, uh, if I did this intelligently, to hide some of the lighting back there. Um, and I don't know how I'd do that. Maybe it would be as simple as having window frames every once in a while, like that, and having a bunch of standing torches in that space. Let me, let me play around. I'm going to see what I can come up with. And we do still need to get, we do still need to get our fireplace in here. 
Um, so I'm going to see how that works. I'll be back. All right, geeks, welcome back. So the house is coming together, and it's actually the perfect time of day to put this torch away and step on on the inside here. I've got these Structures Plus torches, and I mentioned my love for them. They are going to light themselves, and actually, I don't want to touch that one because it's going to take a minute before it kicks on, and you guys will get a good look. If we peek through here, you can see i got the fireplace in and going. It does stick through the roof a little bit, but I'm not complaining. Uh, part of the reason for that is that it's moved closer because we did these double walls. Come on, turn on. I'm impatient. Um, and I came through here and I added in, is it because it's morning? What time is it? All right, I'm gonna make it dark again. There we go, beautiful. So that torch kicks itself on. We're gonna see how much light that provides. Yeah, just enough. So I've gone and added in wooden door frame here and we are gonna, um, actually, let's get my torch out just for a sec. What we're going to do is get ourselves set up with uh, some of these uh, Adobe window frames. And these are going to be here just to sort of uh, um, let some light through. So let's put one there. And that's on the inside of that. We're going to put another one here on the inside of that. Whoops. Like that. And we'll go do the same thing over here. And hopefully... If I sneak in there and I hide some torches, I don't know if it'll be the wall variety or the standing variety. Um, we're going to be able to make this work. So let's go ahead and get those standing torch or the wall torches back on. And I want to, my original plan was to have some of those standing torches around here um, on the inside. But let's head into our little hidden wall first and we'll see what we can do. See how this lighting works. So let's go in here. And on this side, let's go ahead and do one, two, three and three and I'll actually put one here too and this is just a test and we're gonna see what looks better so we'll put those in place and those should light themselves up in time here should and I'll head over to this side and we'll do the same thing with uh, some of these uh, wall torches and I think I'm gonna try hiding them right under the window We'll put one, uh, and apologies for the darkness. These things should light themselves up. Um, but I'm going to do roughly the same thing. We're going to put five. One under each window, one on either side of the window, and one in between. And um, I'll see in just a sec if these bad boys are lighting themselves up. Why not? Okay, I'll manually light them then. Those are the right torches, right? They are. They should light themselves. I shouldn't have any issues. So let's back out, and we're going to see from the outside if that's too much light. Oh, I think that's going to work. That's going to work, and the funny thing is, I don't think we even need windows. Um, those windows are, are totally superf <laughs> superfluous. That's a hell of a word. Um, so let's go ahead and kill those. And I don't know why these torches aren't auto lighting. Um, they're supposed to. Um, so let's head to the other side and we'll see. I like the way this is lit up. It's almost too lit up in here. So I might go ahead and, and get rid of this one. Let's pick you up. Right. Okay. So I think I like it like this. Um, let's take a look on this side and we'll light up the wall torches. We'll see which side actually gives off some better light. And yeah, these should be auto lighting. I don't know why they didn't. The first one totally did. It took time. Um, but I guess maybe it's a time of day thing. So they have timers if you have a look. Um, if you guys are playing on PC and you're thinking about it, um, you can go into, you're thinking about getting the Structures Plus mod, go into Change Settings, and it's how many seconds uh, after dawn does it stay burning? How many seconds before dawn does it start burning? And you can enable the auto on off. So we've got those in place. I'm going to do nothing on the back just to see what the two sides look like. And I think this might be good, guys. I think we might have completed this build, and I, yeah, I like it. That's all we all we need. Um, this has a natural glow to it. I'm gonna turn this off, and we're gonna very briefly go back to midnight just to see how midnight looks here. Yeah. Yeah, guys, that is gonna work. Geeks, I'm moving to some cinematic footage to finish this episode off because on foot, I cannot do this building justice. Take a look. It is the first of several Roman houses around here. Click the like button. 
Uh, you guys always kill it with likes. We should get a couple hundred on this episode and the views continue to grow because of your shares. Thank you for the continuous support here on Building Evolved, guys. I love this series and I love building for you. I am doing my best to be the best arc builder there is out there. If you're brand new, there's a playlist popping up on the screen. It's gonna take you back to the beginning, to our Elk Ranch, uh, to where this series started. And now we've moved to a new area and a new building style and I am loving it. Hit me in the comments with your ideas, your suggestions. I can't wait to build more. All right, geeks, thank you for watching. I'm UTC. This is Arc Building Evolved, and I will see you in the next episode.